Okay, our mesh is more or less uh, defined here. Um, so let's just move on with the simulation, with the definitions. Um, so let's see. So let me just tidy this stuff up a bit. Okay, so we've defined our mesh. Now uh, what we want to do is to define our physics of the problem. Okay, so I will select models. Uh, I want to do a steady simulation uh, gas uh, segregated flow solver uh, constant density and turbulent flow in most cases you only use turbulent and K omega turbulence model is good for uh, separated flow geometry like this one okay and that's all the required models so I'll just press close there so now I've set the physics and both the physics and the mesh and um, now what I want to do is define the boundaries so what's what goes where so the uh, inlet for example I want to wait hang on before I do that uh, let's let's count how many cells we have in the uh, from the mesh so if you go to here, you can select um, where's the output window? Let me find it. Here it is. Window, output, and then uh, output. Okay. So from this one, you can see how many cells uh, we have. So 1.7 million cells. It's it's quite a lot. So already we're going to need quite a lot of processing power to process this simulation uh, so I was actually thinking of refining this outside region here but since I already have so many cells I, I don't think I can afford to do that so uh, let's just press ahead with uh, defining our uh, boundary conditions so first thing is the outlet uh, should be a pressure outlet okay and the inlet, um, well, this should be a velocity inlet, okay? And, uh, well, uh, we can set the values here. So, for example, from our slide, the, um, the, the flow speed is 51.4 kilometers per hour 51.45 so let's see if we can do that 51.45 kilometers per hour yeah seems like it accepted that okay so that's the inlet conditions and the outlet and then the rest of these are walls okay so something I didn't uh, talk about in the meshing which is very very important is the uh, prism layer which is well basically when you have uh, a flow uh, sorry the boundary layer so when when you have flow that goes over surface um, it forms this uh, layer over the over the surface that looks like this so it looks something like this so as the flow is going along uh, the flow near the surface isn't moving fast at all and as you go further and further up the flow moves faster and faster and um, generally you'll have a turbulent boundary layer something like this so um, we need to uh, make sure that the the mesh correctly captures this behavior so we'll do that in the next video